Hi, I'm Rita Peterson with Everything Homemade, and today we are going to make one of our favorite uh, treats, ice cream. Who doesn't like ice cream? Um, everyone, well, everyone in my house loves ice cream, including Annika. This is Annika. She is my three-year-old, and she's going to give us a hand. Um, she likes nothing more than stirring and mixing the ice cream mixture, right? Right? Okay, so today what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make the basic vanilla ice cream recipe. Then I will later on, I'll film chocolate ice cream and then I will film how to make um, ice cream with berries. So you have strawberry ice cream or raspberry ice cream um, with it. So I think it'll be easier for you guys to follow if I just separate it and you can see how I start manipulating the basic ice cream, adding and taking away and making different varieties. Word of caution here um, for everyone out there. These are my farm eggs. Okay, these are these are from our chickens. They're actually only one day old. Um, eggs here. Please do not use store bought eggs, whether they are organic or not organic in the store. They are months old by the time you get them. You have no idea exactly how they've been raised, where they come from, and salmonella is real. Okay, if you know where the eggs come from, that's one thing. I've used farm eggs from other people for the last 10 years. It's no problem eating raw eggs, uh, only if you know where the source is. You've been on the farm, you see how they wash the eggs, you see how they store the eggs, then use raw eggs. The other thing is, this here has no cracks if you take a look. Okay, but if you got hairline fractures or cracks, Please do not use the eggs, okay? Um, salmonella, again, is real. All right, let's get on with the rest. So what we, ingredients we have here is we have two cups of heavy cream. This here is four cups of milk. Um, this would be like 4% milk. Um, I have three tablespoons of coconut sugar. Now you can also replace this and use liquid honey if you like. I prefer the coconut sugar because I like that little bit of that um, extra flavor, that brown sugar flavor that you get in here. And so I use coconut sugar. Um, and this is just for the shells. So this is very basic. Now in my house, I realize I have no vanilla extract. So if you have vanilla extract in the house, use um, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Um, the other thing is the egg yolks um, give that vanilla flavor, so you can omit um, adding in vanilla because you're using um, real eggs in here. But whichever case, if you want a little more vanilla, add a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, are you ready? So the other thing is um, my uh, ice cream maker needs to have six cup six cups in total of liquid. So this is why we're doing this in a measuring cup because I know where six cups is, is right here and that's my total measurement. So let's go, let's crack three eggs. Mix up. Woo, that one slipped right out of my hands. Oi, right, mix that right up, munchkin. Oh, I just washed my hands there for a moment. Yep, yeah, mix it up. So you beat them up really well. And I think, can I beat this up just for a little bit more? Beat these eggs up. Okay, keep going. So what we're going to do in the egg mixture, we're going to add the coconut sugar. So mix that in. Good job. Yeah, keep going. Awesome. Okay, let's add the cream. Two cups of cream. Okay, keep going. And you realize, <laughs> Percy, no, 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 no. You realize that how easy this recipe is. And then the rest in milk. And we're going to 
stop there. Because your what happens is is that your eggs increases your mixture, so I don't actually need all that milk. Okay? So you probably need about three cups of milk. There you go. Yeah, you see yourself in the mirror, don't you? Hey, okay, mix up. And that is it. This is your basic vanilla ice cream that tastes so good. When you're using real ingredients, couple ingredients taste so good together because it's real. And again, you can add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So the next video that we'll do um, is chocolate. And I'll show you now the manipulation on this basic recipe. Oh, hey, Orion, bring me the, the container for the ice cream. Okay. So while Orion does that, we're going to head over here. And, yeah, time for mommy to take the mixture and put in the ice cream. And my children are going to enjoy their treat today. So I'm using the Cuisinart. Um, it's a two-quart frozen yogurt serving and ice cream maker. We've had this for about 10 years. Um, with the growing family of seven, this almost doesn't cut it, especially when daddy's at home. Um, there's not enough ice cream to go around, so we're going to have to increase that. I, I, maybe my husband will make a, an old-fashioned ice cream maker um, with it. So, so what happens is, is Orion just runs the freezer here and grabs the insert. Thank you, Orion. Okay. Is, this is the frozen insert, okay? And you, what you do is you put that in there, then you put the paddle in, put the top on. So, okay, give this a stir. Always stir your mixture before you pour it in. Yeah, just wait, Annika. And then turn it on. And wait 25 minutes. I'll see you back in 25 minutes. 25 minutes about and take a look at the ice cream here. Oh, yum, yum, yummy. Hey, Annika. <laughs> yeah. All right, so turn it off, Annika. Turn it off. Other way. Wonderful. We're just going to pop the top here. And then what you want to do is... Clamp it so. Yeah, and I'm going to put a little blueberry because I had just mixed the blueberries over there with the spoon. But since we're putting blueberries anyway on the ice cream, that'll be okay. So we just take the ice cream, it's much off. Mommy, it's done. Yes, it is done. Are you anxious to eat this? Oh, yeah. I, I okay, we're put it in the separate. All, all right, ice so what, what we'd like to do is, I've got this started here. So I cut a banana, um, and we're going to take some scoops and put the ice cream on top. Just like this. And then I have just just some berry um, sauce here, and you can use um, berry jam. And I have a YouTube video on how to make homemade jam, something like this. Then Annika, watch out! Then we're gonna grab a spoon and put some blueberries on top, and we have delicious vanilla ice cream sundaes, I guess, with a little twist. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I do read all of your posts, all of your questions, and I try so hard to respond to each and every one of you. Um, enjoy, and I will also put um, a little, a little bit, um, a little blurb about if you are allergic to um, cow's milk what options you can use to change this recipe so it's dairy free. Okay, enjoy, because we are sure going to enjoy this. Do you want to try it, Annika? Do you want to try it? Enjoy it. Try it. Okay. Oh, that's good. Well, I'm going to sit down, dish the rest up for my kids, and we're going to have a wonderful lunch today. Thanks for watching.